How does your IoT device know if it's running your firmware or firmware that was introduced by a malicious intruder? Hi, I'm Alan Grau, and I'm the president and co-founder of Icon Labs. Icon Labs is a software company that provides security solutions for IoT and embedded devices. And we've partnered with Renaissance to provide integrated solutions for your IoT device. In this video, we're going to talk about Secure Boot and how your device can tell whether the software it's about to execute was software you created or malicious software installed by an intruder. So there are many security risks with IoT devices. One of those risks is firmware injection attacks and other attacks that attempt to reprogram the software or the firmware on the device. And Secure Boot is a countermeasure to help prevent and block those attacks. So there are a number of attacks where code injection has been part of what hackers used to breach the embedded target that they were hacking. The Stuxnet virus involved malicious firmware used to reprogram Siemens PLCs to sabotage the Iranian nuclear production process. The Chrysler Jeep hack is another example of code injection attack. In this case, the hackers were able to exercise a remote vulnerability on the Chrysler Jeep and use that to reprogram the device. And once they had done that, they could completely control the device remotely. And of course, there's the target data breach in which hackers breached the system through an HVAC system. But once inside, they were able to reprogram the firmware on point of sales terminals to steal credit card numbers and ship those credit card numbers off site where they could be sold on the black market. And in all three of these cases, hackers were able to modify the firmware or the software running on the devices. And Secure Boot would help provide a countermeasure to block those attacks. So Secure Boot is simply the process that device can use to verify that the firmware it's about to execute is, in fact, valid firmware from the OEM. And this works using code signing techniques. And with code signing, before the software is loaded on the device, the OEM signs it using a private key. It then loads the corresponding public key along with the signature onto the device along with the firmware. Then when the device boots, it uses that signature and public key to verify that the software is indeed from the OEM. The same steps performed when the code was signed. The hash value for the software is computed by the embedded device. One of the challenges in implementing Secure Boot is how do you know that the software that's doing the validation is itself valid? And this requires what we call a root of trust. And the Renaissance Synergy platform has been designed to provide a root of trust. This works by providing the basic cryptographic capabilities needed in validating the signature of the device. These include the random number generation capability and the crypto accelerators. The Renaissance Synergy platform includes a number of other capabilities to enhance the security of the devices you're building. In addition to the cryptographic acceleration functions, it includes protected memory locations for storing certificates, keys, and other critical data, and a secure, unique identifier. Security is a critical requirement for IoT devices, and Secure Boot provides an important protection. It can ensure that your device only runs authentic, valid code that you created and provide protection from code injection attacks. Icon Labs has partnered with Renaissance to develop integrated security solutions to allow you to more quickly and easily add security to your IoT device. You can go to the Renaissance Gallery and download a solution today. Mm -hmm.